What's up everybody? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. Today it is my chest. Actually, it, let me rephrase that. It actually started off as my bicep tricep day um, because I've been trying to avoid chest because again, my shoulder has been a little injured and I don't know necessarily know what it is. I get my MRI next week, so hopefully I get an opportunity to check out what it is then. Um, so far, it looks like it's bones connecting and stuff and just a cortisone shot should be able to fix that, fix that according to my, uh, my surgeon. But I figured let me test out my chest just a little bit and see if my shoulder hurts. And honestly, I didn't feel any pain. So we're going to go through this video real quick. Um, got a couple new stuff that I did in there. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, something that you guys probably haven't done in the gym, but it'll really blow out your arms. I really liked it. It actually did really, really good for my biceps. It felt good the next day. Um, and I didn't feel too much soreness either, which is good. I haven't honestly felt too much soreness over the last couple days, which I'm very happy about. And I worked out uh, three times this week. Um, actually, just twice this week. I actually skipped my leg day and just did uh, this workout. And then I did my back and bicep workout. Or excuse me, back and tricep workout. So let's kind of bounce into this video real quick. That way we can check out exactly what we did. Um, first things first, guys. I stretched this thing out like a motherfucker. So if you guys are out there with shoulder problems, the best thing I can suggest to you is warm up. I stretch out for like 30 minutes in the car on my way in. Before I start up, I stretch out my arms. I do rotator cuff movements inside of the car. I probably look crazy to people while I'm driving. Um, but I don't give a shit, man. I'm trying to make sure that my, my shoulders feel nice and I don't feel uh, any discomfort or pain afterwards. Um, so here I am starting off bicep. Real simple, real straightforward. Just a nice controlled curl. Again, no rocking of the body, just making sure that I concentrate all the movement on my shoulder. Now the only thing I will actually critique myself heavily on is here, is that I stop too much up at the top. You wanna make sure you have a constant movement so that we have constant tension on your biceps. That's the one thing that I messed up on here and I think I caught on to it in my other two sets. Uh, or my, my heavier set, this is actually my mid set. Um, and here I'm just doing some tricep uh, overhead extensions. And uh, I like these. I probably should have went a little bit heavier, but again, I was just kind of trying out my shoulder, making sure I don't feel any pain. And then after this one, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go ahead and try out some chest, just to see how it is. I'm not gonna do barbell, but let me try to do some chest press machines. So that's what I wound up doing right after this workout. Boom, went right to the chest machine. I said, all right, let me start off light. Really light, 245s, that's ridiculously light for me. I was like, all right, cool. No discomfort. Again, if you notice, and this is a problem that my cousin had before, he says since then he's corrected it, but I haven't been to the gym with him yet to actually see. But notice how my shoulders are not up. Don't push like this, because you're just gonna hurt yourself. Make sure you control and push from your chest. Move that movement so that we can feel it in your chest. If you're just doing this, you ain't doing shit. But if you're controlling it from your chest, see how the chest actually inflates, that's what you wanna go for. And I bumped it up now, so now we're doing 90 on the chest press. And I really just want to kind of see you guys, show you guys what kind of progression I made on it. And again, I started out light. So if you guys again have shoulder problems, start off light. See how your shoulder reacts to it. If you do, and you've already been to the doctor, make sure you go again and make sure you get that MRI. I'm just doing the MRI just as a what if, see what happens. Um, and here, I haven't done this in a little while. Basically just a one arm uh, bicep curl. But the, uh, the, the cool thing about this is that you use the bench as a prop. So it's almost like a preacher curl, but it's just one arm. Um, I really like this one. It's actually really, really good to activate your biceps and you get to really feel a pull. And notice how my legs switch. You wanna put the arm that you're using, you wanna put that leg in front to brace you and then the opposite leg behind you so that we can brace yourself properly. Because if you do it the other way around, it's just weird. Um, now here, I went up to this one, I think, up on at about 80 pounds. I didn't go too heavy. Typically, I could do about 100, but again, I wanted to test out my shoulder, see if I feel any significant pain the following day. Wasn't too bad, felt a little bit sore. So again, I think this whole taking a break off, testing it out a little bit, taking a break for a week, testing it out a little bit, a little bit seems to be working real well, and it felt really nice, actually, too. Um, this one's different. You guys probably haven't done this. You basically go to the squat rack, and you go up two pins every single time or every till you fail on a bicep curl. So you're basically doing like a, almost like a pull up, but you're lateral. So you're kind of just making sure you do a, a bicep curl on it. 
you just go two pins up until you basically you get to that point because beyond that you're basically just standing up pulling yourself back and forth um, and here I wanted to test out my shoulder again a little bit more I'm doing some incline and I figured maybe I feel a little bit more discomfort on the incline but I really didn't but again as a precaution I went light on this one and I figured alright cool let me add on another 15 pounds and I'll show you guys that on, on, on the next one um, and here bicep curls I love using the cable machine um, I really feel like I get a good workout using the cable machine because you can kind of increase your weight and you don't have to worry about freaking dropping the weight on your foot or anything crazy like that um, here I went wide so this is my last one I did 90 I didn't do as many because this one actually felt a little uncomfortable this is the wide machine you're a little bit wider so you get to actually push out a little bit wider this one did feel a little uncomfortable so I said you know what fuck it let me stop and let me not be stupid and mess up my shoulder even more um, but that was basically my workout guys I kept it real simple real straightforward Nothing crazy at all in the workout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And um, as always, guys, whatever your goal is, whatever you're pushing forward to, make it happen. No bullshit, no excuses, just make it happen.